Something you as a guitarist desire is wanting to learn the guitar at a deeper level, at a faster rate, which is only possible if you eliminate or change a few very structured habits. When you're playing a song or improvisation, there's always something running through your head. But is it the right or wrong thing? Because when I was thinking about the wrong thing of just playing some notes that sound cool together, I was always making mistakes and not making something that came full picture. And this is super important because nobody likes a half story. If you just have a story that's from A to B and there's not really an A, but B, therefore C, so we get to D, you don't really have something people can latch onto and the same principle applies to music. So the first habit you have to change must be how you approach creating something. Whether it's five seconds long or five minutes long, the same process overwhelms. So instead of thinking about just trying to sound cool, what people are thinking, you just have to focus on something called tension and release. Tension and release is what gives music its emotion because without tension, you don't have a reason to feel anything. There's nothing that feels like it's building up. And then release is where you can get a huge emotional full circle that goes into more tension, release, and creates a story just like in the books you read and videos you watch. Brings us to a conclusion that practicing and understanding functional harmony is absolutely essential for any playing solo, covering a song, creating your own song, who cares? If you don't know functional harmony, it's gonna be insanely hard to just understand what tension is being built up and what release is coming to follow. However, there are other ways you can build this tension and release besides just functional harmony. A really cool thing we can look at is just pitch. If we have pitches that start ascending, We can really start to build tension if we pair it with increasing speed, other various elements of music, but that ramping up change does build tension that you can have a big emotional release to. A third way you can think about tension and emotional release is obviously through lyrics. Words can help highlight melodies. This is why songs that are sung are more popular than when they're just the vocal melody covered by a guitar or saxophone. Something about the exact words shapes, of, shapes a listener's emotional expectation if done right. And now that you understand how vital tension and release is, how do you really measure it? Because just because you know what it is and know how to do it, doesn't always mean you're doing it right. People know English, but they can't write a story to save their lives. Same concept. You have to understand that if you use the same way to gain tension over and over, you make your solos go up in pitch, you move down here, resolve, you go up in pitch, move up, move back down here, resolve, you go up in pitch, move. it gets predictable and this tension all of a sudden is just part of a cycle and there's no novelty. To build tension, you need to have novelty introduced sometimes, but repetition is absolutely essential for making something catchy and stick in someone's brain, yes. But added novelty, you can have the same tension from your functional harmony through a whole song, but have a new novel sound of some type of guitar flare. Maybe the bass now jumps in doing an ascending thing. And all of a sudden, what people think would be the same because your chords are the same, it's actually two different applications of tension being built over the same general thing of functional harmony building it. This is something you see in songs all the time, especially if there are songs unlike pop punk that have a lot more elements in them that create that sound. Bringing us to the big concluding takeaway of this video is functional harmony will carry your knowledge in tension and release and then use other sonic developments to create tension and release points. The more you build tension, in different and more slightly novel ways, or you can get away with resolving to something like a hook or chorus, which is what drives your song, guitar solos, whatever, to actually be memorable and liked by several people. And since functional harmony is so important, watch this video to absolutely master it and start understanding the basics right away. And if you wanna understand guitar on a deeper level, faster than anyone else, 
subscribe for more content.